Hello there, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be fitting an NVIDIA graphics card into a Optiplex 710 PC. Right, now this is the PC here we got. It's an Optiplex 710. It's a slimline one or a low profile, I think they call it. So it's quite narrow compared to the old PCs of yesteryear where they were quite wide. This one's quite narrow. So the actual uh, graphics card we're going to be fitting in is a low profile one now you have to make sure you get the right one to fit it in this particular model uh, if you've got the wider one you can use any one but this one needs to be a low profile card because of the the width of it so first of all we're going to go over to amazon have a look at the card get it ordered get it delivered and then we're going to fit it okay let's get to it okay right so we're over on amazon now uh, we're having a look at the uh, computers uh, we've got a number of different ones here, the Dell Optiplex 710, which is the one we've just showed you. Uh, now this is the wider one, uh, the standard one. These are the ones these from yesteryear, which any graphics card will go in there. Yeah. But the one we're going to be doing is this one here, which is thinner. So you have to make sure you order the correct one, otherwise it won't fit. So that's another one there. Now the one we're going to be using, a Dell Optiplex PCI7, 16 gigabytes of RAM. 240GS SSD Intel blah 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 but that's the one we've got that's the one here which we're going to be taking apart and fitting the graphics card to now if we flick over onto this page these are the the graphics cards it's a gigabyte one I'm looking at and it's a, a low profile which is this one here gigabyte low profile so it's retailing at £79 but it's highlighted in small print there so I'm not sure if that means it's unavailable I don't know sometimes it does but this is the same one here. Yeah, 68 pounds. Yeah, GeForce. Let's click on that one, have a look. Yep, that's the one we're looking at. So it's a low profile, as you can see. Something to do with the bracket, I believe. Now I have sort of read up on it, and it does say that you've got to check the compatibility. Ensure the GT1030 is a low profile card with a half height bracket. This is crucial for fitting the Optiplex 710's compact chassis. So that's what we need to check. Anyway, that is the one there. So depending on your model, if you've got an Optiplex, Optiplex 710, you just need to first check the size of it. The width of it, I think, is the most important thing. Now there are three that I know of. This one here, which is about six inches or 140 or 150 millimeters. This one's about 70 millimeters, which is about three inches, I think it is, for American viewers. And then there's this one, which is the same width, but it's actually narrower less depth to it so again that, that can cause um, issues and I did show a previous video of me fitting some RAM sticks in there or checking the RAM sticks I didn't actually fit them I checked the actual PC wasn't it was firing up it was a blank screen so we had to I looked it up and it said to check the graphics cards or the actual RAM sticks were pushed in properly and not come loose which I checked and one of them had come loose. So we pushed it in and it worked again. Anyway, that was a different video, but I'll leave a link to it. It's part of a, a series with these two. Um, this is the one we're gonna be fitting the graphics card. So anyway, we're gonna order that, that one there. That's the one we're gonna get. So quite a lot of reviews and it's four and a half stars. So that's the one we'll get. Okay, next one we're gonna do is get the thing on the workbench and fit it. Okay. Right now, first of all, obviously we've got to turn off the PC and take all the cables and clear the whole area and then we're going to have to get it onto a workbench and uh, take it all apart. So we'll clear all this out of the way, just leave it on the desk for now, unplug everything at the back. Right, we should put this over on the workbench. Right, well we've had our, our graphics card delivered, it's our Gigabyte GeForce GT 1030 NVIDIA. Uh, low profile to the gigabyte. That's the one we showed you on uh, Amazon to get for this particular type of computer because it's very thin. If you get a chunky one, it's gonna to be too high and you can't get it in. I mean, you could probably get it in with the case left off. Some people do that, I believe, but then again, I'm not sure if it would line up with the slots here. But anyway, we're gonna get out of the box and then we're gonna fit it in. I just opened it earlier just to have a look at it. It's very small. I took the actual wrapping off earlier, but there we go. There it is there with its little fan. And all its doings there. It's very small. That's what you call a low profile. The other ones, as you probably know, are a lot thicker than that. 
uh, and they wouldn't go in go in here so that's why you have to make sure you get the correct one but anyway we've got it now so we're going to attempt to put it into the PC it looks fairly straightforward I've not done it before so first time for everything as they say now obviously it can only go one way which is with this at the back and it is in this black slot Got it lined up there. That's a little bit dark, and that's it. I've just pushed that straight in. It's lined up with the back there, and there's a little blue clip on here, and it's just gone straight in. It's quite easy actually. It's gone straight in. We've got a little bit of clearance there where the fan is, so it obviously can get some air. I mean, I don't think it gets too hot. I'm not actually sure, but I believe it should uh, keep nice and cool. Uh, and also over here, we've got our. Uh, our ram sticks there's four of them in here i did put these in at a, an earlier date but if you do need to put them in i'll just take one of them out show you it i think they're two gigabytes each these ones i've got a little torch here i can read it uh, four gigabytes four gigabytes each so it's 16 in total four eight twelve sixteen so i fold up all four slots it can only go one way anyway so Just push them down with your thumb each side and they just slot in. Uh, now the video I made earlier, we checked these and one of these clips hadn't been pushed down and it was slightly lifted on one side, which means it wasn't uh, firing up. Uh, the actual computer was firing up, but there was no display and that was the reason why. So they're all in and the graphics card is in. I think it just sits in there like that. All we need to do is put the cover on again. Now there are two screws that come with this. So they just go in and hold it in place, quite fiddly. I've got a little screwdriver, it is a five mil piece. Um, if you've got one of these, that's all you need really. Just make that tight, not too tight. And that's it, that just sits in there like that. And the cover goes on and that's it that's how you fit the graphics card but there is a very uh, limited to ones you can get in there because obviously because of the width of the actual uh, PC now, if you had the wider one that we looked at earlier I think you can put any number of different ones in but it does take up a lot more space mine goes on a, sits on a desktop and I need the space so that's why I got this one but anyway that works pretty good we're gonna put it back over on the PC now, or on the work desk. It's a little bit cramped. All right, let's get it back up. All right, so I'm just gonna get it into place now. Connect all the, the USBs, the cables, and all the rest of it. I'm gonna need a little torch to get in the back there because it is a bit dark. All right, so we're just gonna get it all on the back here, all the bits and pieces. Of which there is quite a bit. But one of the good things about these Dell Optiplex, there is a lot of USB slots on them. The moment of truth. Now obviously once you've in, put the graphics card in, you're then gonna to have to go to the NVIDIA website and download all the drivers and stuff. Uh, but it might recognize it and do it automatically. It probably will. Anyways, so just a quick recap. That's the actual uh, graphics card we got there. The GeForce GT 1030. You saw how easy it was to fit in. But as I say, make sure you get the uh, low profile one. Um, which is that one there you can see it was quite easy to fit anyway I hope you find the found the tutorial helpful if you did please like and subscribe if you'd like to see me make any other videos on particular how to's if that's of some of, would be of interest please leave a comment below and we'll hopefully make a video anyway thanks for watching bye for now